Hi there. Let's think about inflation. Do you know what inflation is? Well, you probably do. Every time you go to the store, maybe you're having an experience with inflation. Is anything costing you more when you go to the store now than it did, uh, let's say, one year ago or five years ago? Well, that's inflation. It seems like your paycheck, your money, does not go as far as it uh, did in the past. Are your wages uh, keeping up with this? If your wages are keeping up with inflation, then maybe there's nothing to worry about. But if your wages are not keeping up with inflation, and inflation is expanding faster than your wages are rising, uh, that's going to be a problem in terms of your uh, living from day to day. If your money doesn't buy as much as it used to, that means you can't afford as many things as you used to, and your level of living is going to go down. Now, what are we going to do? Well, you probably aren't in a position to change the direction of inflation. Well, maybe at the ballot box. Maybe at the ballot box you can vote for people that are going to do things that cause inflation to not occur or to occur less rapidly. Maybe voting is important, but voting only happens every few years. And that's not a remedy. You're facing inflation on a daily basis. On a daily basis. I can remember when uh, you could go down to the car showroom and buy a brand new car for uh, $2,500. Now you go down to the showroom and a car that's similar to that might cost uh, $20,000, $30,000, $40,000. What has happened? What has happened? It's inflation. And we need to think about what we can do to live comfortably with inflation. Maybe the money that you save could be put into investments that tend to increase in value with inflation. If a person just puts money in a tin can and buries it out in the yard, what are they going to have? Maybe they buried a dollar. Let's say they just buried a dollar, and they buried a dollar in 1950. What would a dollar have bought in 1950? Well, it probably would have bought a big candy bar. I don't know. I'm just coming up with an idea. But today, go into the store and see what the dollar buys in terms of candy bars. If you can buy a candy bar for a dollar, is it going to be as large as big a candy bar as you bought in the 1950s? I think not. I think not. So maybe if that dollar had been invested in some way, maybe the value of whatever you invested that dollar in would have gone up during that period of time. This, this points up the value of investing. Don't let money just sit around, because if it sits around, inflation is going to be just causing the value of that money to maybe fly away. And then someday later, when you want to spend that money, uh, you may find out that because of inflation, that money won't buy as much as it uh, used to buy. So it's, it's time to start saying, no, no, I don't need to buy that. No, I don't need to buy this. I don't need to buy that. No is the magic word to savings. And when you say no, when you say no, that money that you save 
is money that you can invest. Money that you can invest. And then when that money gets invested, maybe, maybe it's going to grow. I'm your encourager. I'm here to get you to think so that you can make wise decisions. What I talk about may not be the direction for you to move in. You have to evaluate these things. I'm just a person with ideas. I'm your encourager, a person that's trying to get you to think so that you and your family can survive, so that you and your family can have a better life, a better life. This is not a hard sell kind of thing. If you listen, listen to the internet, many times people that are uh, talking about various things, uh, they talk fast and they talk like this is the only cho choice. You have to move in this direction. Well, that may not always be the case. I'm just here to get you to open your eyes, evaluate what direction you want to go, choose your own direction, and then hopefully you and I and the rest of the world that listens to these kinds of things can move ahead in a positive direction. Yes, I'm your encourager and we're here to have a good time. Yes, we'll talk to you again in one of the next videos. Share my videos. These videos are not only here for you, but they're here for you to share to people that you think may find some value in my videos. Send my videos to your friends, one friend, two friends, three friends, four friends, five friends. Send my videos to all of your friends that you think might enjoy them and might benefit from them. Have a good day. We'll talk to you in the next video. Bye for now.